Johnson, I won't be able to make that conservation meeting this afternoon. OK. The president called me last night, and he wants to see me in Washington this morning. Uh-huh. But I'll be flying in Christmas Eve. Oh, uh, sir, I'm glad I caught you. It just occurred to me you really ought to take the president a Christmas gift. Oh, I don't think so, Clayton. Uh, 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 now, sir, an appropriate gift at Christmas time can provide dividends in the fiscal year to come. Sounds like a holiday greeting from E.F. Hutton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clayton. I'll pick up something at the airport gift shop. Oh, sir. <laughs> Uh, your limousine is out front. Ah, uh, thank you, Miss Krause. Uh, uh, sir, about the Clayton, gift. Uh... Don't worry, I'll get something appropriate. Bye, see you on Christmas Eve. Bye, okay. bye. Why is it that no one understands the importance of a business gift? Oh, Clayton, that isn't what Christmas is all about. It's peace on earth, goodwill to men, sharing with those you love, remembering your family. Yeah, my mother used to cook a caramel swirl coffee cake. That smell still means Christmas mm -hmm. to me. I haven't tasted anything like that in years. Oh, oh, uh, good morning, Gretchen. Mary, you haven't met everyone. This is Mary Colton, our new assistant cook. Mary, this is Benson. How do you do? And this is Clayton. Pleased to meet you. Hello, sir. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. But I baked a little treat for coffee today. Oh. A caramel swirl coffee cake. <gasps> what? We were just talking about that. Oh. Mmm, smell that now. That's Christmas. Enjoy it. Thank you very much, Mary. Cross, get a knife. Let's divvy this thing up. Okay. No, 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 none of that for me. I tell you, the, the fat content in that pastry goes right to the heart. And you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> When I was five years old, I gave it to Daddy for Christmas. Oh, that's cute, a little mushroom. You have it upside down, it's a candle. <laughs> oh, you're right. I don't know what I'm gonna get Daddy for Christmas. What'd you get, Pete? A muffler. Oh, is it wool? No, it's anodized aluminum. <laughs> it's for his car. <laughs> Benson, do you have any idea what my Daddy would like for Christmas? Oh, I don't know. What'd you get him last year? A Pac-Man t-shirt. Well, maybe like a matching tie. I can see I'm gonna have to work this out for myself. I'll take these into the living room. Oh, thank you. Uh, Denise, I'm gonna have that conservation meeting this afternoon, so hold my calls and no casual visitors, okay? Okay, no problem. But I won't be here during lunchtime, though. I'm going shopping for your present. Oh, you don't have to give me anything. Oh, I want to. Well, don't spend too much money. Don't worry. A couple of hundred dollars should do it. <laughs> Hey, did you leave a message for me? Oh, yeah. I thought maybe you'd like to help me take these boxes of ornaments down to the living room. Oh, sure. You can consider it an early Christmas present. Pete. <laughs> well, I don't know what to get you. What'd you get me? Oh, it would spoil the surprise if I told you. Okay, you don't have to tell me what it is. Just tell me how much you spent. <laughs> what difference does that make? Well, I don't want to embarrass you by spending more on you than you did on me. Oh, Pete, that wouldn't embarrass me. That would amaze me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. It sounds like you're implying I'm cheap. Denise! Denise, I'm gonna need... Oh, wait, darn it. We can hide in here. Hey, what's going on here? Look out! Where'd you come from? Later! I know you kids are around here somewhere. Okay, where are they? Who are you? I'll ask the questions, Mac. Not in my office, Mac. <laughs> uh, well, my name is E.G. Slade. I'm with the County Welfare Office. Now, I'll repeat my question. Did two kids come in here? That's not the same question. <laughs> Look, mister, I'm a poor slob trying to do a day's work. Give me a break. Oh, oh. Hello, uh, Mr. Slade. OK, Mary, where are they? You mean my children? They don't belong to you, Mary. Mary, would you mind telling me what's going on here? Oh. It's very simple. I have two wonderful children, and Mr. Slade here doesn't think I should keep them. I have a court order right here. Oh, why don't you stop making a big fuss, Mr. Slade? The children are fine. I get paid to make a fuss. Mr. Slade, this court order is for Jefferson County. That's because the kids used to live in Jefferson County. Yeah, but this is Lawrence County. OK. If you want to get picky, I got a court order from Lawrence County. And I'll be back. You can count on it. And I intend to write a report of this entire incident. Okay, you can call it what I did on my Christmas vacation. <laughs> All right, children, you can come out now. I want you to meet your knight in shining armor, Mr. Dubois. 
Benson, this is Vin, and this is Margaret. Hey. Hi. We owe you one. Hey, we'll wash your card and we'll be even, okay? No, you don't have to do anything for me. Uh, Mary, uh, these are not your natural kids, are they? <laughs> No, but I've known Margaret since she was a baby. She and her mother used to live next door. And when her mother died, she came to live with me. That was nine years ago. Where are you from, Vin? Vietnam. His older brother, Quo, brought him in during the airlift. And he asked me to look after Vin for a while. Uh, Quo went back to look for their sister. That was two years ago. And he's coming back. And you've never legally adopted them? Oh, I tried. I, I tried with Margaret, but... Some people just can't see past color, so I never even told them about Ben. Mm, looks like you're gonna have to hire a lawyer. Oh, we don't need a lawyer. We're blessed in having you. Yeah, I'm just a plain old, ordinary, everyday, rank-and-file, run-of-the-mill budget director. <laughs> oh. I'm not talking about your job. I'm talking about you. There's something special about you. That's why the children came to you. No, no, no. They were just trying to get away from that guy. Oh, Benson. Everything in this world happens for a reason. That's what my mother used to say. I know. If you want to talk to us, we'll be in the cook's quarters. Come on, kids. Don't worry. If Mom says you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Benson. How was the meeting? Mary, I tried, but there doesn't seem to be an easy answer. Well, there never is. But you'll come up with something. Well, we should stop saying that. I'm not coming up with anything. Oh, you will. You won't let him take my children away. That's right, Mary. Benson will stop them. Cross, I'm not a lawyer, and the adoption laws are very, very complex. Yeah, well, maybe he'll find a loophole. Oh, a loophole? Say, that's a good idea. Well, so is a miracle a very good idea, but this ain't 34th Street, and I'm not Kris Kringle. <laughs> Close the shutters, turn out the lights. Cross, that's not gonna stop him. Well, what am I supposed to do? Greet him at the door with open arms? Well, that might stop him. <laughs> I know none of you are glad to see me, so let's just get this over with. Mary, I have a court order from Lawrence County to take the children into custody. Let me see it. Do you know something, Slade? I'm usually pretty easygoing, but you tick me off. Now, now, Denise, Mr. Slade is just doing his job. Yeah, well, everything seems to be in order here. Oh, I'm not surprised. Mr. Slade is one of the best. Don't let him do it, Benson. Slade, it's two days before Christmas. Yeah, so? Well, Christmas is a time for families. And those kids are the only family Mary has. Why don't we postpone this until after the holidays are over? Well, that's a nice sentiment, but I can't do it. Now, where are the kids? They ran away. When? A Wednesday. <laughs> they crossed the international date line. Is he gone? Uh, you kids! Get in here. Now, stop, Dad. You're not prisoners. You're wards of the court. Benson, do something. I can't do anything. Now, here's some Christmas cookies for you to take with you. You promised we'd stay together. Oh, everything's going to be all right. Don't let him take us, Mom. Oh, darling, now you children just keep smiling. Come on, let's get the show on the road. Goodbye. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. I'll walk you to the car. Come on. Benson, he's going to be OK, isn't it? with those calls? No, I am not having any luck. I called the head of every department on this list. It really makes me mad. Just when you need the government, they all pack up and go home for the holidays. Yeah, what makes me mad is they come back. <laughs> uh, Benson, excuse me. Have you got a moment? Sure, Clayton. Well, keep trying, Denise. Yeah. Whatever happened to responsibility, dedication, caring? What's with her? Well, we're not having any luck getting those kids back. Well, neither am I. I just got off the phone with Boothby, Boothby, and Zawicki. And? Zawicki. No, I heard that, Clayton. What'd they say? Well, you wouldn't take my word for it, so I went to the experts in the field of child custody, and they agreed with me. Mary is up to proverbial creek, etc., etc. That's a... Governor, we've got a problem. I know. I already filled him in. Any ideas? 
Not a one. You? No. Nope. But I have a question. Yeah? What on earth are you wearing? <laughs> oh, that's my Christmas present from President. Ah, sir, did you get him something? Oh, yes, Clayton. I got him a belt buckle with our state motto on it. You got him a belt buckle that says, if it's not broke, don't fix it? <laughs> Sounds a lot better in Latin. <laughs> well, listen, let's get back to the problem. Now, what are we going to do about marrying those kids? Well, I'm afraid in the last day and a half, we've exhausted every possibility. Sir, there are no legal options. Well, there must be some way to get Mary and those children back together again. We can't let those kids wake up Christmas morning in some institution where no one knows them. Well, they think nobody cares. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty lonely. I can see their little faces pressed up against the frosted windows. Yeah. Dreaming of a Christmas tree for the family. Yeah but they'll be stuck in some cold, gray government building with a scrawny little tree and a tinny recording of jingle bells playing in the background. Mm. Mm. 